Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So the perfect basic t-shirt is something that can be quite hard to find and especially the perfect basic white t-shirt. There are so many different fits, qualities and price levels in this area so I hope this video will help you in the search for the perfect basic t-shirt. So in this video I am going to show and compare no less than five different white t-shirts and what all of these t-shirts have in common is that they are all from brands that you guys have recommended to me. Also they are all either responsibly made so they maybe come from a responsible brand or they are made in organic cotton. So this was one of the criteria for me to do this test. Going for a sustainable basic item is one of the easiest steps towards a more sustainable and um, intentional way of consuming fashion. And I think it's something that everyone can do because the price difference between these t-shirts that I have found today and the ones that are conventionally made are not even that big. The way that we consume fashion in general today is very selfish because the cost for you yourself is much more important than the cost of our environment or the people in the production. And that is where I think that the industry desperately needs a change. So again, going for the most responsible alternative on the market is a great way of starting this journey and to support initiatives like organic cotton or more transparent production and other things like that. Moving on. So I have gathered five of the most important criteria in this area and uh, let's just go through them. I'm so sorry, but my voice is still a bit scruffy after being ill last week. Oh, it's just not going away. So the first criteria for the perfect basic white t-shirt is that the quality or the fabric mustn't be too stiff, but it mustn't be too slinky either. So it kind of has to be in between those two. So when it comes to the fabric of the t-shirt, I definitely prefer cotton above anything else. So everything in viscose or polyester, which are both not very sustainable ways of making fabric for a t-shirt, is just a no-go for me. I prefer something that is at least 95% cotton and preferably organic cotton. So let's move on to the third criteria, which is all about the fit. Personally, I like to go for probably what you would call a boyfriend fit. So it has to be slightly boxy, slightly oversized, and it has to have this crew neck like the one that I'm wearing today. So no deep scoop necks or anything like that. The crew neck is definitely the number one type of neck when it comes to basic t-shirts for me. So the fourth criteria is that the basic t-shirt should wash well. So the seams should stay at the sides at all times. They shouldn't move to like the center of your belly after washing them one or two times. If the seams tend to move when you wash your t-shirts, that is often a sign of poor quality. And it's something that I myself have experienced when I buy t-shirts from very cheap high street brands. Finally, one of the most important criteria, and also one of the things that you guys are very frustrated about when it comes to especially white t-shirts is that it shouldn't be too see-through. And that leads me to the nude bra because a nude bra is an absolute must-have in your underwear collection in general because it's just great to wear underneath like a very see-through button-down shirt but certainly also your white basic t-shirts. It is almost impossible to find a basic t-shirt that's not just a tiny bit see-through and going for a nude bra is just a great way of dealing with that if you're not into the whole peeking through underwear situation. So I actually tried one out from a brand called Organic Basics which is also one of the brands that I ordered one of the t-shirts from. It's a basic triangle bra, no wires or anything like that. And it's just super comfortable and I'm loving it already. Also the cotton quality from Organic Basics are often made in what you would call long fiber cotton, which means that this fabric is just a lot more durable than conventional cotton and it will also look like new for a lot longer time. Okay, so with all that in mind, let's have a look at the five t-shirts that I am gonna show you and compare to each other today. Now, as always, everything that I show you in this video is going to be linked down below for you guys. 
Also, I haven't tried any of the t-shirts on yet because I kind of wanted to give you my full first impressions besides the t-shirt that I'm wearing today, which is about six months old now. Um, and I'm gonna compare this to the four others as well, but that's just because this one comes from a responsible brand. So I thought I just wanted to put that in together with the others. I am gonna wash them just to see how well they wash. And then I'm gonna give you my final verdict and then hopefully be able to pick out a favorite so that you guys can also pick out your own favorite. So uh, yeah, let's go. So this t-shirt is called the Cotton Crew and it is from Everlane. So when it comes to the fit of this t-shirt, it is just right up my street. It has kind of a straight, slightly oversized fit and it has this crew neck as well. When it comes to the quality, it is quite thin. Also, I can't seem to find any information on this t-shirt, whether it being in organic cotton or not. So I'm guessing it is just in conventional cotton, but it, it is made in Supima cotton, which is kind of a quality mark for Evelyne. So it is definitely better than the um, conventional alternatives out there when it comes to good quality, but I would have liked it to be in organic cotton as well, so that it has been made with fewer chemicals in the production as well. Also, the fabric of this t-shirt is very thin. I don't know if you're able to see it here, but you can kind of um, see my jeans through the t-shirt. And um, yeah, it's just a bit too thin for my liking. Other than that, the fit and the hand feel, it's very soft and it feels great on the skin. And like I said, it washes really well as well. And also it comes from a responsible brand where um, transparency and good conditions in the production is something that's very important. So, so let's have a look at this one from Organic Basics. This is the same brand as the nude bra that I spoke about earlier in this video. There's just so much plastic waste in the fashion industry. So it's great to see someone taking a bit more responsibility in that area. All of the t-shirts that I'm showing you today is in a size medium, just to get that out there. I'm also gonna put that information down below, but just in case I forget to say, these are all in a size medium and I deliberately always choose a size medium just because I really like that slightly oversized fit. So here is the one from Organic Basics. I am not really fond of the finishing here at the neck. It kind of looks like the fabric has been stretched a bit too much in the production. So it kind of has these small wrinkles down here at the neck. I think you'd be able to remove it by ironing the t-shirt, which is in general something I really enjoy to do, especially after washing my t-shirts, is just give them a quick iron because it makes them look completely like new again. So I hope this is something that you can remove by ironing the t-shirt. And it is made in 95% organic cotton and then 5% elastane. And I can definitely tell when I move around in the fabric and I kind of um, stretch it like this that it's a bit more stretchy than the 100% cotton one from Everlane. So overall, I really like this t-shirt. I really like this very thick quality and the fact that it is hardly see-through. I bet you could even wear like a normal white bra underneath this t-shirt and you wouldn't be able to see it. So that's definitely a plus. But yeah, it feels like a very proper, great t-shirt. Oh yeah. This is what I'm talking about when I say crew neck. This is a proper crew neck in my opinion. It just goes all the way up to the neck and it looks great with when you layer your necklaces like this. And um, yeah, that is definitely a plus. The one from Organic Basics is definitely a lot thicker than this one, no doubt about that but it is definitely thicker than the very thin one from Everlane. So far, this could actually be a favorite of mine. Um, I really like the neck, I like the sleeves. The perfect slightly oversized fit, the sleeves are not too big, they're not too long or anything, so kind of has that boyfriend fit, but not too much. And yeah, like I said, it is made in 100% organic cotton, so if you are to go for a sustainable basic from a normal high street brand and other stories is definitely a great way to go. So, moving on, this one is from Weekday and um, kind of has a more cropped and boxy fit than the others. The others kind of went down to here. That is definitely an individual matter, but I 
definitely like my t-shirts to be slightly longer, especially if I'm wearing boyfriend jeans like today where the jeans kind of sit low on my hip. I just don't feel like there's a lot of fabric to kind of do this half tuck because it's so short. If you're wearing high waist jeans, on the other hand, there's not a lot of excess fabric. So if that's what you prefer, this length is perfect, I guess. Also, there's something odd about this color. This one is what they call white on the website, on weekdays website, but it is not white. It is kind of like an off-white, almost like a cream color. I don't know if you can see it, but I mean, compared to this one from and other stories, it's just not very white. This one is also made in 100% organic cotton. So again, we're dealing with a conventional brand that has kind of made an initiative to go for more sustainable basics. The thickness of the fabric is great as well. I don't really have anything bad to say about that. I can't see my bra. I almost can't even see my jeans through this fabric as well. So it has a great thickness. So that is the fourth t-shirt. Take a good look because I am gonna switch to the last one. So here we have the final t-shirt. This is from a brand called Armed Angels and it's a brand that I only recently discovered. I've actually also ordered a pair of skinny jeans from that brand that I'm gonna test out. Yeah, this is 100% organic cotton as well. And as you can see, it is kind of more fitted than the other t-shirts. Um, so I guess this is what you would call like a woman's t-shirt. So the sleeves are a bit more fitted and the body is a bit more fitted, kind of sewn like a woman's body. Um, and like I said in the beginning, I really prefer this kind of straight oversized fit. So when it comes to the fit, I am not completely sold on this one. However, I will say uh, the length is really great of this t-shirt and also I think it's perfect to be wearing underneath blazers because it is that fitted. Um, but to be wearing like this on its own, it's not my favorite. So yeah, I am gonna return once I have washed all of these t-shirts. So it is now the day after I spoke to you last and I'm now back with a final conclusion to these five different white t-shirts. So the conclusion is that all of the five t-shirts did really well in washing. After a bit of ironing when they were dry, they all have a very smooth surface and there doesn't seem to be a problem with moving seams or anything like that. But obviously it takes a bit more than just one wash and also a bit more wear to really tell a difference. But it doesn't seem like the surface will be peeling or anything, so they're all super smooth, still looks great, and they did really well in terms of washing. So one thing to think about in this process is definitely that cotton isn't just cotton. You can really feel a difference in softness and weight if you turn to brands who are concerned about making cotton items in Supima or Pima cotton, or cotton that are made from long fiber cotton. So the reason why long fiber cotton and Supima cotton is so great is because you just get a lot thicker cotton, a lot more durable and a lot more soft cotton as well. They all have some pros and cons, but if I have to pick out my own favorites, it will have to be the one that I'm wearing right now, which is the one from Organic Basics or the one from And Other Stories, which is closely followed by the one from Everlane. So I really wish that you could feel the hand feel of this t-shirt from Organic Basics. It's just so incredibly soft and I think it has to do with a tiny bit of stretch. It just sits so nice and soft on your body and I like this kind of stretchy hand feel and also the thickness and the weight of the fabric. And then after washing it and ironing the neckline, I managed to smooth out these little wrinkles that it had right here. So I think it will look great after countless times of washing and wear as well. So if we look at both the t-shirt from and other stories made in organic cotton, 100% organic cotton, and then this one from Organic Basics, they both kind of fill in the criteria that we made in the beginning of this video for the perfect basic white t-shirt. So that was that 
The fabric shouldn't be too slinky, but not too stiff either. This one is definitely a lot more soft than this one because this one is after all 100% cotton and this has a tiny bit of stretch. So there is definitely a difference in the softness of the t-shirt, but the weight is quite similar to both of them. Then they both have this slightly oversized boxy fit with a classic crew neck that I like so much. They wash really well, both of them. The surface is still super smooth, no moving seams or anything like that. And then finally, none of them are too see-through. But like I said in the beginning of this video, it all starts with a great nude bra. I really like the one from Everlane as well. Like I said in the beginning, I've had this for a while. I've had it for around six months and it's been worn a lot, washed a bunch of times too, and it just keeps looking great. The surface hasn't start, started to peel or anything like that. It's still super smooth. The seams are where they should be in the sides of the t-shirt. So this is really in my top three of all of these t-shirts because it just lasts so well and that is because it is made in Supima cotton. So that just shows that cotton is not just cotton. You have to pick carefully if you want something that looks nice in the long run and that's really durable as well. But the reason why it's not my absolute favorite is because it is just a bit too thin compared to these two, this one and this one. So my absolute favorites, the one from Another Stories and then this one from Organic Basics. to caring for especially white t-shirts we all know that through time you can kind of get these yellow stains in the armpits which is just totally unsexy but it happens you can actually easily remove these stains by mixing a bit of baking soda with water so that it kind of creates a paste and then kind of scrub that into the surface or where the stain is and then leave it there for at least one hour. You could also leave it overnight if you're dealing with a very rough kind of stain. And then wash it normally and then that should take that yellow stain right off your t-shirt. Another thing you could do to avoid these yellow stains is going for a more natural deodorant. So stay away from antiperspirants, a crystal deodorant or maybe make your own. I'll make sure to put a link down below for a recipe for making your own um, deodorant. I have experienced that the crystal deodorant is not always very efficient. I sweat more through certain periods during the month and also if I'm really busy or stressed out, I tend to sweat a bit more. And having to worry about the smell of sweat is just not fun either. So I actually have both um, a crystal deodorant for kind of the low key days or days at home where I don't need as much protection. And then I also have a traditional antiperspirant, but just without any nasty chemicals and without perfume um, so that it's better for very sensitive skin and it's just a bit more healthy than the conventional ant antiperspirant. So that's it for this video, guys. I really hope you found it helpful and that uh, it kind of made you wiser in terms of cotton in general and choosing great durable qualities. Also in terms of choosing more sustainable options, again, like I said in the beginning of this video, going for sustainable, eco-friendly basics is a great way to start other than lowering your consumption and maybe going for secondhand options as well. Personally, I don't even think that it's that much more expensive than the conventional brands. So really everyone can do this. Um, especially if you lower your consumption, you have a bit more money to go for great quality and more sustainable options as well. So enough blabbering. I think this video is getting a lot longer than I thought in the beginning. So I'm going to wrap up this video. 
If you liked it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you around. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram because I upload daily outfit inspiration from my capsule wardrobes. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.